What's going on YouTube? It's your boy T Hunter J Viz. I'm back with another YouTube video. Not just any YouTube video. I'm here with a thank you video. Thank y'all for literally everything y'all have given me on this YouTube channel. Y'all made me probably one of the most happiest people on this planet. I mean, I look at my channel now, then I compare what my channel looks like now than what it used to look like when I had nine subscribers. And I'm not gonna lie, like it's a big difference. When it comes to doing YouTube, and I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this be known for actually this kind of applies to anything that you want to do in life. But when it comes to YouTube particularly, it's like this. Like when they talk about consistency and doing this and doing that, I know that that shit can get a little, it can get a little irritating. I know that it can get a little irritating for some people, or you just feel like there's more to it than just consistency. But consistency is probably one of the most important factors when it comes to doing anything. When it comes to building yourself up to a goal and you know what i mean that is that is probably that is like the word of today too because i'm not gonna lie if it wasn't for consistency if it wasn't for like you know making a video and coming up with new ideas and actually taking the time to you know attack my channel with different type of creations and editing type shit like me doing that like every single day or every single week for y'all has literally got me to the point where i needed to be right now you know what I mean? 130 subscribers. Like, like I said, I've been saying this since since I first started YouTube, and that's it's not about who's watching. It's the fact that somebody is watching, and that means everything to me. The fact that somebody's actually taking the time to sit down and actually watch the videos that I put out. For the main part, like this year has not been the best year for me. It's been up and it's been down. You feel me? But now we just back up again. Right now we just getting back off our feet type shit. But I'm not gonna say too much what's happened with this situation, uh, the situation that took place in September. And I'm only talking about it only because to let y'all know exactly, you know, why I start stop streaming. The people I've been asking, because I know a lot of people kind of reached out asking why I stopped streaming. But this is also just for the reasons of my YouTube channel, because like. Honestly, this YouTube shit is like therapy to me. You feel me? Actually being able to sit down and talk about how I feel and talk about, you know, what I want next. Obviously, I got to filter some shit out because, I mean, I don't want to hear my whole life story. At the end of the day, y'all trying to watch the video and move on with y'all day. So I completely understand that. But it's like, when it comes down to it, like, I was, through some, I was in a tough time. I ain't gonna lie. Around September, around fall time, somebody, someone was spreading lies on my name and, it was, they really fucked me up with that shit and it really messed me up. And then I was dealing with a person at the time too. She really fucked me up. And then I was dealing with more people at this time. This was recently 2023 and they fucked me up. So it's like, when it came to just making relationships and building relationships and networking, I mean, it didn't really work out for me. It really didn't. And a lot of things blew up in my face and a lot of people I should have just left there. I should have just never let in my life in general. I'm gonna just leave it at that because I mean, to get any farther into it, to get any deeper into it, it was just, you just reminiscing on it at that time. Even even when you talk about negative, and that's the thing some people gotta understand, even when you talk about a negative time so many times, reminiscing, we see reminiscing as like, you know, reminding ourselves of a, you know, a situation that, you know, that, that meant something to us. Um, you know what I mean? Usually it's supposed to be something positive. You feel me? Say you rem you're reminiscing about having your grandma with you or you're reminiscing about, you know, being with your family again or whatever. But even when you think about some shit negatively, you're still reminiscing about it. Even if you, you're talking badly about it, but you, you keep talking about it and keep speaking it into existence. So it's, it's, you know, are you really over it? Is it has, it does it, is like, are you really over that situation? And that's why I'm not going to get deep into it because I'm over it, bro. Y'all really showed me that it really doesn't matter at the end of the day when I get up here and do YouTube, somebody's going to watch me, somebody's going to support me, and somebody's going to let me know that this YouTube shit is just more than just YouTube. It's just more than just editing. And that's how it is for me. I always tell y'all, like, there has to be an alternative goal with something that you start doing. When you want to start rapping, nigga, you, don't got, you can't just think about the money. All right, the money going to come. Your main thought process on this thing is to be like, what do you love about it? Do you actually love this rapping shit? Because that's what's going to make you the money. You putting your love and time and effort into it. That's what's going. That's what's going to bring the money in it. Because when you put your time into it, you gonna you gonna send it to people. They are gonna let you know if it's ass or good. If it's ass, you are gonna be like, I love this music shit. That's not gonna stop me. Let me put. Let me get back on my shit. Some people are just like, if you tell them, oh, this is not good, or this, you gotta, you need more work with that. They just give up completely. That's not me. That's not me when it comes to any situation in general. Because I know that that since I have it tomorrow. 
that's another opportunity for me every single time. Every single, every day that I wake up, it's a new opportunity for me. And I see life like that. And I will always see life like that. I will never give up on myself. I will never give up on the people around me. You feel me? Unless, unless they do some shit just like try to kill me type of shit. But it's like, when it comes down to it, like, that's it all that really matters, bro. That's all that really matters when it comes down to it. It's just every single day that you have it tomorrow, that is another opportunity for you to move forward. You feel me? And that's why I, I, don't, I don't, I'm not mad at nobody. I don't, the people that was in my life that I, I, I took out of my life, that I blocked out of my life, them bitches is unblocked. You know what I mean? I would never talk to y'all niggas again, but y'all unblocked because I'm not mad anymore. I have no reason to be upset. I have no reason to be mad. I have no reason to to feel animosity and feel and reminisce on the you know the good shit. Because at the end of the day, you know, shit just happened. And at the end of the day, that's just not gonna define my life. And you know what I mean? That's more so it might be a little bit of a message. Y'all probably be like, okay, this shit got a little this shit got a little a little aggressive, you know what I mean? But I stand on that. And I stand on that when it comes to anybody because there's people that I've had to drop from my life. And there's people that I had to bring into my life. And there's people that just should have never been in my life in the first place. I would never want anything but the best for myself at the end of the day. I'm gonna want what's best for me at the end of the day. And if people gotta get dropped for me to get to that shit, they're getting dropped. If there's people in my life that are holding me back from doing shit, they're getting dropped. I don't give a fuck about who you is because at the end of the day, it's my life. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm walking in my shoes. You feel me? You ain't gotta walk in my shoes type shit. And I don't have to walk in your shoes. So. I would always respect other people's, you know, decisions when it came to doing what they want to do. I respect it. I might be mad. I might be sad. I might be a little upset depending on what the situation is or, you know, but at the end of the day, like, I'm going to understand and I'm going to respect it because I respect for other people. And it might have gotten a little just, it might have gotten a little aggressive just now, a little bit, you know, maybe I'm shooting, like, throwing shots and shit. I mean, shooting shots at people and shit, but I mean, that's what I stand on. That's what I stand on. You feel me? It's like, I mean, I have things coming for myself, and this YouTube shit is one key thing that's made me actually feel like, like I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm elevating right now. One thing that shows me my progression actually means something, and that's this YouTube shit. There's been a lot of situations, and I'm not gonna lie, none of them, none of them affect me on the way that they would affect me if I was like, if I wasn't doing YouTube, if I was just coming home, just not doing shit. But the fact that I get up and I do YouTube. And I, I do a reaction or I do I do an edit videos and I know that motherfuckers wanna watch them, it's like it means the most to me. This is real life. I mean this is actually becoming a job for me type of shit and I love that. I love that part, you know what I mean? When I was doing um, you know, viewer reactions and stuff like that, people would be like, Okay, can I get this at this certain time? I'm like, damn, okay. I'm like, yeah, I could, I could do that. But it's like now you really put yourself to the test. You said you want to do this YouTube shit, and now you have people asking for a video at a certain time, or you have people that want this type of video. Hey, where's this video? Where's this video? Like, that, I love all of that shit. None of that stresses me at all, cause it's like, like, damn, these people actually want these videos. They actually want to watch these, and that shit, that shit warms my heart up. That shit actually makes that shit actually means something to me, because it's like. Literally a year ago, I was like, man, shit, if they watch, they do. If they don't, they don't. I was literally saying that. I was like, if they watch, they do. If they don't, they don't. I'm doing this shit just because, just to say I do it. I do this shit just to say I can do it because I, I just don't, I don't imagine a certain number that I want my YouTube channel to be on. I want nothing but the best for myself, but I want it humbly, you feel me? I don't want, I don't want to go out and do stupid shit and do like dumb pranks and stupid, like shit like that to get where I need to get to. It's the fact that people are watching, which means the most to me, which means damn near the whole world to me. I mean, I, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine a more, a better position in my life right now. I have literally everything I want. I, I, I really have everything that I want. The only thing that I want now is a fucking car and my own place. But other than that, I have everything I can ever ask for. I don't, I literally don't want nothing else. You feel me? And I don't want nothing else at this moment in time at, in my life. You feel me? Now, in the future, yeah, I have some shit that I won't come. Like, I want some shit that I need. But as of now, like, I'm, I'm happy with my life. And I'm happy with like, who I am. And, you know what I mean? I feel like nowadays people have the problem of actually accepting that and accepting who they are. And me, like, I'm, I'm me. I mean, there's nothing I can do to change me. And if me me feeling like I had to involve people and put certain people in my circle or be in other people's circle, act like somebody else, um, me feeling like I had to do that shit, always blows up on my face because it's like at the end of the day you can't stop being who you are 
at the end of the day, the real you's gonna come out regardless. So it's like I don't even try to. I used to stress over like, okay, like, how can I, how can I improve my image? How can I make people accept me? But at the end of the day, either people gonna fuck with you or they not. You got, and that's what I understood when it came to this YouTube shit. Like, either people gonna fuck with the videos or they not. And if they're not, it's not gonna stop me from doing what I'm doing because I love what I do. Because there's somebody who actually, there's somebody there who actually wants to watch the videos that I put out, and that's all that matters, man. A happy moment in my life. There's nothing weighing me down. There's nothing holding me back. This is just, this is like the beginning. And every single day, every single year, every single time that there's a new subscriber, it feels like a beginning. It feels like it's, it's, it feels like the beginning of something crazy that's gonna happen in my life. Something crazy positive is gonna happen in my life. And you know I'm ready for it completely. As long as I, I told myself this, as long as that I, I wake up every day and I do something that will get me closer to my goal, it's gonna happen. When it comes down to just like the progression and actually like waking up in the morning and doing something to make you do, take an, an extra step to get to get you to where you want to be in life. I mean that that has been nothing but progress for me. And not only that, but that has been nothing but that I've, I've seen nothing but results out of that type of thinking. You know what I mean? Nothing but results. So when you hear like niggas say, you might hear a YouTuber, you might ask a YouTuber, like a, a, a famous YouTuber, be like, how did you start? Or, you know, what was the main thing that blew, blew you up? And they say consistency. Like, I know most motherfuckers will literally get upset about that because like, bro, it's consistency shit. Like, oh my God. But the truth is like, that's. It's consistency, my nigga. You really have to apply that consistency shit to your whatever crap that you got going on. You gotta be consistent. You gotta let motherfuckers, you gotta be consistent. You have to be annoying as fuck. <laughs> you feel me? You gotta be, I'm talking about, you gotta post your shit like almost every single day. And this is for my musicians out there, my rappers out there, my beat makers, upcoming content creators, uh, you know, my, my Twitch streamers type shit. Like, when you start doing this stuff, like, there's not really a time where you can just stop. I mean, you can set a schedule for yourself so you can give, your no, give yourself enough time to deal with life. <laughs> you feel me? And just deal with reality in general. But when it comes down to it, like, you want to always be in a position to where you're doing something that will get you closer to your goal every single time. That, and that's consistency. And that's why I, I choose to upload a video every week. Y'all might just get three a week. Y'all might just get four videos a week. It just, you know what I mean? I dance around with it, but a week is good enough as of now. You know what I mean? I feel like once I get like to a certain sub count, like I'm thinking like 100,000, then y'all gonna be getting videos consistently because at that time, I'll probably have enough money to get an, an editor and shit like that and start making enough money from YouTube to get all these necessities that I need to actually make my channel grow even more. I mean, I'm not thinking it. I'm not thinking of it as a career as of now, but it's definitely giving me that vibe right now. You feel me? Um, I'm not saying like I'm, when I say as a career, I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing YouTube like okay, let me just quit my job and not go to school because I don't know if it's gonna work out like that. You feel me? But one thing that I definitely thought was like this could definitely be a career for me. This is something I'm not gonna stop doing. Like I have to keep doing this shit. Like real talk. You know what I mean? And I stand on that. I stand on that completely. You feel me? Thank y'all for this video. Thank y'all for 100 subscribers. We had 130 subscribers, so this video is a little bit late, so I do apologize. But other than that, man, I will catch y'all in the next video. Comment down below if you want these style of videos again. I mean, I haven't really sat down and did a talking video in pretty long, but just let me know in the comments below if you like these type of videos, if you want another video like this. Other than that, I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Y'all take it easy.